Mastering the skies. Understanding. Flare the parachute. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase that's quite specific but carries a lot of weight in both literal and metaphorical contexts. Flare the parachute. Whether you're an aviation enthusiast, a language learner, or just curious about English phrases, this video is for you. We'll explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in everyday language. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery behind this fascinating phrase. First up, let's tackle the literal meaning of flare the parachute. In aviation and skydiving, to flare means to increase the angle of the parachute to the horizontal plane. This action causes a reduction in the descent speed and allows for a softer, more controlled landing. It's a critical skill that parachutists must master to ensure their safety when coming back to Earth. The flare is usually performed at a low altitude, just before landing, to decrease speed effectively. Moving on to a broader perspective, flare the parachute, can also be understood in a metaphorical sense. In everyday language, this phrase can describe any action taken to slow down or mitigate a rapid or potentially harmful situation. For example, if someone is moving too quickly in a relationship, a friend might advise them to flare the parachute and take things more slowly. It's about applying caution and control to prevent undesirable outcomes. Now that we understand what it means, let's discuss how and when to use this phrase. It's perfect for situations that require a sudden decrease in intensity or speed. You can use it in both formal and informal contexts, though it tends to shine in more casual conversations. It's a creative way to express the need for caution or a slower approach, making your language more colorful and engaging. And that wraps up our exploration of Flare the Parachute. From ensuring a safe landing after a thrilling skydive to advising a more measured approach in life's various endeavors, this phrase encapsulates the idea of control and caution beautifully. We hope this video has illuminated a new and useful expression for you to use in your English language adventures. Remember, Language learning is not just about memorizing words but understanding the stories and nuances behind them. Thanks for watching, and happy learning! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the English language. See you in the next video!